So as you walk around Thailand, you'll see Thai people sniffing these cartridges everywhere you go. So I found one, 7-Eleven. <clears throat> these things right here. Poi Sion inhaler. So it's like a menthol inhaler. It's got menthol, camphor, eucalyptus oil, and borneol. Which is, I'm assuming it's for like allergies and stuff like that. My allergies have been really bad since I got here. So you just... Stick it up your nose like that. It smells like Vicks. It's basically a Vicks inhaler thing. I see them walking around just with it hanging out their nose. This is what they'll do. Just smelled it all day. And I guess it just it's just there to clear up your, your head. I can't find any regular nasal spray so far. This is Pai Thailand. The, the laid back hippie town up in the mountains, uh, three or four hours away from Chiang Mai. This place is different than any place I've been so far here. Uh, I really like it. It's a very small town compared to Bangkok and Chiang Mai even. Way less traffic than both those places, which I really like. And everything is, if you're right close to downtown, everything is really in walking distance. Which is really nice. There's a, a big night market that goes across this whole street right here during the nighttime. Just every food you can imagine. It's so good. It's so cheap too. Everything's cheaper here than Bangkok and Chiang Mai. And it's just very, very laid back. It's kind of like going to Nepal. This is just the main strip I'm walking up right now. The usual clothes shops, coffee. Ice cream. Hello, can I get an iced espresso with little sugar? 45 baht, a little bit over a dollar. Check out these cool clothes I got. Got a nice selection of drug rugs back there. hot one of those right now but it did get chilly it got into this like low 70s last night 70 degrees which is the coolest it's been here so far that looks good thank you cop and cop Ice coffee. So these little lantern things hang up across the walking street, the whole entire walking street.
and they go to everything from Chinese, Thai, pizza, burgers, fried chicken, french fries, Japanese, pretty much everything. A doctor's office. His usual massage places. Two hundred and fifty baht for an hour. All right, back to the walking street. So at nighttime, this whole entire street is blocked off. Um, So you can walk through and it's basically like a, a giant night mall. There's definitely a lot of backpackers here. They're way more concentrated than they are in Bangkok and Chiang Mai. It's a little bit crowded when it comes to sidewalks around here. There's motorcycles and cars just parked on what little sidewalk there is. We're constantly walking in the middle of the road. Swatika. Do you have like nasal spray? Ah, yes. Yes. How much? 110 baht. 110? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Cup Bye. and cup. All right, I get my nasal spray, finally. All you really have to do is just show them a picture what you want in your phone and then they'll just give it to you. So these places are uh, all over the place. The Alchemist. This is little cafes you can just sit down and have a smoke. It's about noon time right now. The place really doesn't start to liven up till like five or six. A lot of restaurants don't open till five or six. And the, the walking street, I don't believe, really even isn't it closed off till six o'clock at least. Oh, here's some takoyaki. Cheese, ham, octopus. I, uh, I tried some of that yesterday. I wasn't a fan. It was, they're like these fried, it's like fried puffs of dough. The ones I ate, I'm not sure, they didn't have signs like that one. The ones I ate had, it's a kind of fishy kind of taste to it. It might have been the octopus. And I really wasn't a fan. Those other ones, the cheese and ham ones, they might be good though. Pad Thai is always good. Always the cheapest thing on the menu too. Well, the Pad Thai at 40 baht is just over one dollar. A pretty decent sized plate of food. Always a good cheap way to fill up. And most everything else, especially the Western food, it's gonna be at least three or four dollars for a decent sized meal. 
at restaurants anyways. This is the uh, laundry mat where I did my laundry last night. Comes with instructions on how to use. As you can see. They also have these water these uh, water containers, you can get fresh water, drinkable water too. I see those throughout the, throughout the town. So I'm just kind of wandering up out of town a little bit here. what I can find. It's really more rural out here. This is beautiful. There's some cows roaming around these um, these fields. I'm not sure what kind of fields they are. Maybe they're rice fields. There is a lot of hostels and little uh, cottages back here. For how it's not really that developed. Not like downtown where I'm staying. But I almost like it better back here. That's a cool shirt. So these street dogs, last night, I went into 7-Eleven. Uh, a street dog got in there and was trying to sleep in the middle of the floor. They were trying to get rid of him, but he wasn't having it. Like he wasn't budging, no matter what they did. They kept trying to sweep him out with the brooms. There's a couple more. Tribe to see the the Karen tribe, the Karen people of Thailand. The Karen tribe is it's a tribe of people who live in Thailand. They're in the area. They they put the rings around their necks. They're called like the long neck Karen tribe because they use these rings to kind of elongate their necks a little bit. I guess it's controversial. It's one of those controversial things if you want to go see them. I'm not 100% sure why. I think it's kind of along the lines of, you know, viewing them as like a zoo, like a human zoo. Another controversial thing is if you go to see certain elephant places where well, the elephant places where you ride the elephants, I guess the elephants aren't treated well. There are good elephant places where they take care of the elephants, where they wouldn't survive in the wild otherwise, and they do treat them well. But some places, I guess, they just don't treat the elephants very well. And it's viewed as unethical to go to to go to those places. This bridge is gonna bring us back into town.
We're just further down along this river again. It's a cool bridge. These are lanterns that just light up at nighttime. It's beautiful. The whole, the whole, the whole street will be lit up with them. So this is what it looks like when you walk around downtown Pi. 